200 Ronaldo is going to show me some of the speed that he's known for. Recently, I had a chance to attend the Filipino Combat System's annual family gathering, held in Auburndale, Florida at Martial Arts Hall of Famer Stony Stone's School of Martial Arts. Here, people from all around the world, whether they be large or small, master or novice, come to learn from the man himself, Tuhan Ray Donaldo. You see here why he is considered the true master. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> okay, whichever one comes out the fastest is the one that hits his mark first. Right? So here, okay, the bullet in their sheath, which one is going to hit its mark first? Sure. See that? Okay. So you've got a split second, but this one is already launched towards its target before this one even begins its journey. In speaking with Tuhan Ray Donaldo, he explains that Filipino combat systems is more of a hybrid martial art, adapting other forms and styles into the traditional Filipino styles, making it more applicable to modern day combat situations. Just to create some type of motion, okay? We're going to do kumbach, okay? Now watch this. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now watch this. 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 <laughs> All right. So here, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. Did you get that? Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing, okay? If you're in a Florian motion, okay, and you say, hang on, <laughs> okay, he's going to jack your ass up, okay? <laughs> but, okay, if my hands are up here, okay, this whole time, okay, and I just do this, Okay. I never drop my hands down. One of the things that Tuhan is legendary for is his speed. I was lucky enough to have him demonstrate on me just how fast he can be. After a brief tutorial on how to hold myself so that I don't get injured in the process, he showed me. Now, from my perspective, all of this was just a blur. A few times I felt the tip of his knife blade brush through the beard on my chin, and I didn't even know the knife had been drawn until after I had seen the glimmer of steel. On day two of the FCS family gathering, I was introduced to Master Tony Laughlin. Tony, among other things, is a practitioner of Kun Tao. You must watch his eyes and face as he strikes. Tony explained to me that in Kun Tao, one of the core elements is being able to tap into your inner animal instinct, being able to strike out like a tiger with its life in danger. Many of the strikes demonstrated by Master Tony had a twisting and turning motion. This served a purpose that likened to the end of a cracking whip, adding power and precision to the strike that almost felt inhuman. The penetration strength of when he hit you felt so strong that it nearly took the breath out of you each time. Giving a demonstration of how he digs down and finds that killer animal instinct, he explains a process that sounds like a combination of method acting and meditation, in which he imagines that he is standing in front of someone who's threatening the lives of his children just behind him. And the only way to save them is by tearing his opponent apart, limb from limb. Watch his face and the faces of those around him as they feel the killing energy coming off of him. I spoke with several students of Tony's, and they all explained to me that it is an eerie feeling when he sinks into that killer instinct mode. You really do begin to fear for your life. Much like Tuhan Ray Donaldo, 
Master Tony Laughlin agreed to demonstrate some of his techniques on me. It was amazing. When this man hit you, it felt less like a man hitting you and more like a force of nature that was moving you. His understanding of pressure points and leverage just moved you into position and you almost removed him from the equation entirely. You just knew you were being moved and that it hurt. Several of the techniques that he executed on me caught me so off guard that I just had to go with the flow or else I might end up dead. This was my first exposure to Filipino combat systems. Everybody there was nice. In fact, I felt no ego from anybody at all. To Han Rey Donaldo, the grandmaster, so to speak, of the Filipino combat systems, was probably the nicest of the bunch. Everybody there treated everybody else like they were family. And they all treated me like I was family as well. Even though I met many of them for the first time, they smiled and shook my hand. They spoke to me as if they've been speaking to me for years. I had a blast. And everybody else there had a blast too. There were smiles on almost everybody's faces. It was a warming and welcoming feel. I suggest to anyone on a quest to be more badass to look up Filipino combat systems, join Tuhan Ray Donaldo in his quest, and maybe have a little fun too. Special thanks to Tuhan Ray Donaldo and the FCS family. You can find out more about them through fcscollyphilippines.com. Also, special thanks to all the fine folks at urbantactical.org for introducing me to the FCS family. Thanks for watching the Art of Badass web series. Remember, there are a million ways to make yourself better. At the Art of Badass, our goal is to put all of those ways together in one place. That way you never have too far to look in finding your path to badass.